You are seeing these pictures of Mars for the first time anywhere. Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter captured the images from nearly 200 miles above the red planet. You can spot craters, icy polar dunes, and even the possible landing site for a future mission. NASA has big plans for Martian exploration. The next major project is Mars 2020. CBS This Morning is the first broadcast to go inside the assembly room of the Mars 2020 mission. Jan Crawford is at the Jet Propulsion Lab in Pasadena, California. That is where the highly sensitive work is underway. Jan, is that you? <laughs> yes, it is, Charlie. And in fact, everyone that goes in this room has to be suited up because they can't risk any contamination to this spacecraft. It's going to Mars in four years with an unmanned rover that's going to explore the surface. And this is all part of NASA's plan to send humans to Mars in the next 20 to 30 years. This is what you have to do. when you go into a room with a spacecraft headed for Mars. Wow, that is going to be on the surface of Mars. That. Absolutely. Lift off of the Atlas V with curiosity. It's 200 million miles away, a speck in the sky. And in just four years, this spacecraft will blast off for an unmanned mission to the Red Planet. It's a crucial step toward NASA's goal of someday sending humans to Mars. So everyone that works on this has to wear these suits. NASA agreed to let us go inside the clean room, where even engineers working on the spacecraft have to be covered head to toe. It needs to be clean in order to work properly, and it's going to the surface of Mars. We can have Earth stuff going there. We don't want to contaminate Mars. For generations, Mars has been a source of fascination. We can be on Mars within 24 hours. A favorite of Hollywood. Four and a half billion years, nobody here. And now, me. But here at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, it's no longer science fiction, but cutting edge science. This piece of metal will be a sophisticated landing system for Mars 2020. What all gets put on this? Yes, well, the most important part that gets put on this is our propulsion system. So those are the rockets. The propulsion system. Exactly, the yeah, rockets. Yeah, that's pretty important. This animation shows how it will slow down the spacecraft and gently drop an SUV-sized rover onto the surface of the planet. We are decelerating. NASA used the same technique in 2012 to land the Curiosity rover. Curiosity is the first rover to really confirm that Mars was a habitable place. Stephen Lee is the deputy project manager for Curiosity. This is a replica here at the Mars yard. Curiosity really is the parent of Mars 2020. So this and is like the, the mom and daddy. The, mo the mom and daddy, exactly. The next generation rover will be loaded with a lot more technology, like higher resolution cameras and an advanced robotic arm and drill. This is the rock room. Which Deputy Mission Manager Jeff Srinivasan says will help search for signs of Martian life. We're actually going to drill cores and make small samples of Martian rock that we will put in tubes, seal, and leave on the Martian surface. We hope that a future mission potentially will come get those samples, bring it back to Earth so Earth scientists can actually study those samples. And we've never gotten anything off the surface of Mars. We've never brought anything back from the surface of Mars. And for the first time, NASA will test systems that future astronauts would use to survive their journey. In this room, what you're doing could determine whether or not humans make it to Mars in the near future. Using this technology, that's absolutely true. And and That's a lot of pressure. It is. <laughs> we try not to think about it. Engineer Jim Lewis and his team are working on how to turn the Martian atmosphere into oxygen for astronauts to breathe and use as fuel. Inside this chamber is at 7 torr, which is the Martian pressure. This experiment is critical because astronauts couldn't bring enough oxygen from Earth to last for what will be a three-year mission. If you want to go to Mars as a human or if you want to launch a rocket from Mars to bring a sample back, you need oxidizer to do that. All making this upcoming mission a giant leap for human travel into deep space. Do you think that someday 
humans will be on Mars. Oh, without question. Without question. Absolutely. Eventually we'll be able to overcome all the challenges that are, are ahead of us. That seems crazy. It's it seems crazy. like a movie. It's crazy, but it's certainly a wonderful goal. A goal generations in the making, now closer than ever. Do you ever think like, that is 200 million miles away. It sometimes is just amazing to imagine that we've built such a large system, so much complexity that's so capable, and we send it on a rocket, and when you go out in the morning and you look, and there's, it's a point of light in the sky. Yeah. <laughs> now for all those kids out there who are going out at night and seeing that point of light in the sky, they could be the first humans to set foot on Mars. And this spacecraft carrying that rover for all that important research will pave the way to get them there. Nora? Well, that's right. The first step in what we could see in our lifetime would be oh, absolutely amazing. incredible. Absolutely incredible. Jan, thank you so much. They're doing the job they're doing. Yeah. Bring it all back for us. It's that's nice. Right. All right, CBS This Morning is partnering with Jaunt VR, and you can get a 360-degree virtual reality tour inside the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Go to our CBS This Morning Facebook page to scroll through some of these amazing rooms. That this is virtual reality stuff is amazing. It's great. It's like you're there. Mm -hmm.